welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. Uh, this has been a very long time since I posted my last video. It's been almost six months. So for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Answer, and I post videos all about Microsoft Excel tips, tricks, and tutorials. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this uh, budget versus actual chart. So in this case, this is simply a chart that's showing me the daily sales uh, budget versus actual. So as you can see over here, the budgeted sales are in the blue bars and the actual sales are in the orange bars over here. So this differs from your typical 2D bar chart because you can really see the difference between your budget and your actual in this manner. So if you were to just create a 2D bar chart, so if we were to go to insert and to charts, a 2D bar chart, it would look something like this. But because of we've made it in this manner, you can really see the difference between your budget and actual values. So I'll be showing you how to make this chart in Excel. So I have my data here. This is the same data. And I'm going to click anywhere in the table. I'm going to go into our insert and into charts right over here. And I'll choose a 2D column chart that looks like this. Now, for my case, um, I don't need a chart title, so I'm just going to delete it. And I can see the chart is like this right, right over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go into change chart type and I'm going to change it into a combo chart. So the budget values are still in a column like this, but the actual values are now in a line instead of this orange bar over here. Okay. Once I've done this, I'm going to press OK. And you can see it's showing a good difference between the budget and actual. But we're going to take this a step further and I'm going to click on the line, uh, right click on it and go into format data series. And right over here, I'm going to select no line at all. Instead of a line, I want a marker. So I'm going to go into marker options and choose a built in marker. And I'm going to choose this, uh, this rectangle, this horizontal rectangle shape. And I'm just going to increase the size and keep increasing it until it's visible. And there we go. So now you can see that we've changed our chart. So now you can see, for example, in this day of sales, we had classic coffees that oversold by almost double. Uh, whereas, for example, our specialty seasonal drinks, this product, uh, we had only 50% approximately of the actual sales. So this allows you to see your actual versus budget values more apparently. Um, and it just looks much nicer rather than your simple 2D column uh, bar chart. So I hope you found this helpful. Give it a try and let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you soon in the next video.